what's good family i know y'all hear me today a1 drizzy tata self-love that's right that's the best kind of love right there peace Beautiful mind, I see you. I see a lot of the you usual suspects. That's right. Classic people time, that's what I be on. <laughs> Come on, you know that 615 was just a roundabout, you know, type of thing. I had to fucking uh, roll my L and shit. Oh, hang on, I see it. I forgot my water. Let me grab it. Yeah. Shout out to uh, this eternal water right here. I'm not being paid to sponsor this, but uh, there's some good water right here. Some good water right here. We have Benny Brakes from London. Benny Brakes from London. Mommy. Why would you say the bed bugs are biting? Why would you say that to a child? <laughs> I was thinking about that earlier today. Peace, peace, peace. Egg nine was good. On my flat panthers. Peace, flat power. All you motherfuckers that got a problem with it, come and show and prove your bullshit. You can't. Drive on that bridge every day. I was off. Thanks to God. Oh, E.M. Emu show. Whew. All praises do, bro. We're going to get into that. We're going to talk about that bridge. Because I, I seen some things. I know you saw some things. Um, I got questions. I got questions. Um. But anyway, how y'all doing? Buffalo in the house. What's good? Tom McGivern, what's good? That's that's Thieveland in the house. Can't stop. Won't stop. Uh-huh. What up? What up? That's right. Eternal water. Amazing. Yeah, I saw this. I saw this. Uh man, they were raiding all the waters, man. Like on a level from one to a hundred or some shit like that. And would you believe like a lot of your favorite waters out here are scoring like a one, a three? And I'm talking shit like Fiji. It's like a three. Like I, I thought Fiji was some shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like a three. This eternal water. Scores a 75. Let's clap it up for that. A 75. 
which was about the highest um, that this test, you know, of all the waters that they were scoring, this was the, the highest scoring water. I immediately had to order some. Um, yeah. So this is not any kind of paid promotion. I just love y'all. I want you to be healthy. Um, we promote a healthy lifestyle here on on the Godcast. Um, yeah. So get you some eternal water. You could tell him Lord Jamal sent you. I don't know if it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna get you a discount or nothing or something. But maybe you know. Maybe in the future it'll let them know that I'm, you know, putting them on and maybe they will send us some shit over here and be like, you know what, we're going to give y'all people a fucking discount and shit. We're going to put it, the code in the motherfucking, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. Darnell Dawes, peace to you. So what's up, Laws? How's Mr. Ifatunde? <laughs> You know, I think I, I just saw a video with the big Ifa Tune Day. And thank you for your donation, uh, Darnell. I just saw a, a video with with um with with our, our with our good brother, um fucking Dr. Umar. And yo, this black dude basically pranked him. Had him come to the crib for an interview and all of this, and then pretended that his girl was white. So this was a black dude who pretended that his girl was white. And it was it was some funny shit. That's all I could say. If you could find the video, go find it. Um Yeah. Like like the the, the white girl ended up like trying to basically try <laughs> Try to talk, try to offer the Ifatunde some pussy and shit, um, and 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 and, and, and the brother respectfully declined, um, but it was just hilarious the whole situation they try to put him in and shit, and, and, and it was a young dude that pulled this shit off too. It was some funny shit, um, so yeah. That's all I know what's up with the with the Ifa tune that you you know. Other than that, you'd have to tell me. I, I oh I think he said that the school may be getting inspected, and if they pass inspection, then maybe it could be opening at the end of the summer. You know, I've heard this end of the summer thing before. Karis Nofflin, she said, we got a lot to talk about. Sheesh. Yeah, we kind of do, don't we? Don't we, don't we, don't we? Now, I, not only do I feel like we need to unpack this whole Diddy thing, right? But as we unpack it, I also want to unpack people, the different, like, feelings about this shit you know what i mean um salam alaikum truly zambian like my salam that's right peace to the gods and earth from rockford illinois okay okay that's right beautiful mind let them know let them know we not on no spinning ball That's right. Bless this earthly plane. Uh, well, it's Lord J lighting up more shit than Broadway. Uh-huh. Oh, here we go with one of these, one of these guys. Not on a flat earth, but a projected earth. <laughs> okay. It could be projected, but it's flat. <laughs> a flat projection, if that makes you feel better. Um, I definitely subscribe to the holographic uh, science that what we 
looking at maybe one great big hologram. Um, but it's the greatest hologram you've ever seen in your life. Created by the master hologram maker. Darnell Dawes, would you debate Mr. Ifa Tunde again or not? Um, we never had a debate. I, I wouldn't consider what we think. Again, thank you for your uh, donation. I wouldn't consider what we had was a debate. I had him come on my show. And I asked him simple questions. And it just turned into something that seemed adversarial but it, it it by no means was a debate what are we debating over you know what i mean what would we debate whether the school's gonna get open or not like i, I don't understand like i you know i'm not i don't really subscribe to this pan-african shit anymore you know what i mean like or my studies show me that that was some shit that you know was given to us, but that's a whole other thing. And do I want to debate him about that? No, not really. You know what I mean? I'm sure he's full of many statistics and, you know, memorized jargon and, you know, yeah, whatever. Open school, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Open school. That's all. That's all we want to see. We want to see that bread, that that bread go to work, that donation money go to work. Uh, yeah. But according to him on the show, he's not interested in people. He's in, interested in donations. Jean, Jean or Jean Voice, thank you for your super sticker. Thank you, Queen. Appreciate you. Uh, Black Pudding said, did he and his son in handcuffs? Well, they didn't get him in handcuffs. That's right, Jean. You finally caught alive. Well, we appreciate, we, we happy that you did. Oh, Teacher Maria. She said, good evening and peace to you, God. Peace, Teacher Maria. Wow, thank you. Peace to you, queen. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Teacher Maria. Uh, definite. Uh, God cast family member. Regular. You're a moderator, right? Teacher Maria. I'm pretty sure you are. So keep in mind, we got moderators in here. Yes, I know a one Drizzy. I know, I know, I know. That's how that's almost why I feel like um the powers that be was like, I right, we don't need this guy no more. We don't need this guy no more. His influence is finito. Well, how do you know? They're on the street saying no diddy in replace of Pause and no homo. No Diddy is the new shit. Once once you're in that type of situation, like, is there any coming back from that? Like, is there really any coming back from something like that? People are associating this man with like <laughs> such gay behavior like that they're making him like the epitome of it. It's crazy. Like just for all those people that did sell their soul for all these motherfuckers that, you know, went against their morals, or I don't know, some of them, I don't know if they even had any morals, but for you motherfuckers that ended up, you know, 
bending over or getting on your knees um, for money. Like, even if you had a 30-year run, was it worth it? <laughs> was it worth it? Now, a lot of this stuff, of yeah, it's allegedly. I wasn't there for none of it. I ain't never seen it. All I've, you know, I'm in the I'm in the industry, so I've heard rumors for years about things, about many people. You know what I mean? The diddler included. Um my thing is. Damn. <laughs> like you did all this for money and fame and, and power. And now what's it really get you? You've become a fucking, a meme, a fucking laughing stock. You know, many people are taking pleasure in what appears to be the demise of P. Diddy. And I, and I, you know, I want to address that too. I want to address how I believe there's certain people out there, right, that think that he might come back from this. He might come back from this, right? And if he comes back from this, these motherfuckers want to be on the right side. See? See, Puff? I defended you when everybody was talking shit about you. So, uh, you know, I want you to just remember that next time you're handing out some bread. See, these are the motherfuckers that I always talk about that do shit for the, um, like, for pie in the sky. Like, for the for the reward that actually is never coming. But, they do it anyway in the hopes that a motherfucker hears them be like, oh, appreciate you defending me. Matter of fact, yo, here's a million dollars. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when's the last time that fucking happened? Like, <laughs> when the last time you heard somebody get on, on online and defend somebody and then that person turns around and fucking gives a motherfucker a million dollars or some shit like that? Like, that shit don't have the maestro fresh whiz. The motherfucking ambassador of Canada. God damn it. As far as we're concerned here. God damn it. Ain't no other Canadian MC. As far as we're concerned on this channel. Fuck you. Drake, Drake who? What? Fuck out of here. Salute. Um, what was I saying? Ah, oh, lost my train of thought. King came in. Hey, um, all I can say is, man, none of this shit is worth it. Darnell Dawes, thank you for your super sticker. Um, oh, I was talking about how some people are out here trying to curry favor. They think he's going to be back in power. So they like trying to defend him. Oh, that's okay, teacher Maria. Thank you so much for your donation. She said, I'll have to catch the replay though. I need to sleep. Good night. I love you, Lord Jamal. Oh, thank you, teacher Maria. I love you too. We appreciate you. Good night. She's teacher Maria is a overseas shit. So. It's very late for her. I got on kind of late and shit as far as overseas people are concerned. Um, so I just want to say, like, yeah, I hear y'all. You know what I mean? I hear y'all motherfuckers is trying to, to defend and all of this type of shit. Now, there's people that's acting like, oh, uh, why are y'all hating on a black man? Uh, 
a black man goes down and why are we celebrating this and all that type of shit? My answer to that is this. If you have a cancer in your body and you remove it, would you not celebrate once you're cancer free? Or you have less cancer in your body? Is that not something to celebrate? See, for some reason, we don't understand that if everything that's being said allegedly about um, Mr. Diddy is true, and believe me, um, they, you know, I don't see them kicking out, kicking down doors without a lot of evidence and shit. Not to say that they can't. Trust me, they can. They could kick down your door and pretend that they got all kind of evidence um, that they don't have. Trust me, I'm not on the side of this fucking government. But a high profile guy like that, I don't think they're going to simultaneously go after two cribs, hand put people in handcuffs and all that type of shit without some sort of very high suspicion that there's something there is more than just a little smoke. Uh, so, so that being said, if all of this is true, these people are cancers in our community. They're cancers in our community that should be removed, that should be treated and either reverse the cancer or cut it out. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Hang on a second. I got to take this. I got to take this real quick. Yeah, hang on real quick. Let me... Uh, <laughs> this is my grandson. Uh, my grandson's born day is today. Uh, matter of fact, there he goes right there, y'all. That's my grandson with my son right there. I'm live right now. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, my, my grandson is... Uh, He's culture years old today, correct? He's four years old. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Culture and that's little Chuck D right there. Chuck D, you know what I mean? And he just, Chuck, Chuck D just came from Chuck E. Cheese. You know what I mean? So uh, they hit me on the FaceTime. Y'all had a good time? All right, I love you, man. Take take some flicks and all that and send them to me. Okay. Some all right, yeah, send them to me. All right. All right. Peace, peace. Peace. Love it, love it. Yeah. All right, little Chuck D. Uh, so anyway, when you remove a cancer, you celebrate it, okay? I'm tired of motherfuckers acting like why we always celebrate people in our community and da la 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 la. First of all, we it, the reason why uh, we're looking at our own people is because that's who affects us. I understand there's the Dan Schneiders out here who are out here um, molesting, uh, you know, children in, in in Hollywood and all this type of shit. And, you know, I saw the kid with a dude, Drake or whatever, was getting uh, uh, molested by his uh, coach and all of that. And I feel bad for them and all of that. But guess what? That's not our community. It doesn't hit us the same. It doesn't touch us the same. The way that when people from our community are doing some foul shit, you know what I mean? Or if they're doing some good shit, you know what I mean? Like, like it's just... We just identify with it more. You know what I mean? So don't be mad. Don't be mad. Like certain motherfuckers is going to celebrate because you got to understand that at the end of the day, the, 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 the energy and the, the aura of original people originally is to be in alignment with God. 
is to be in alignment with God. And so when you see things that are outside of the alignment with God, and then you see it, you know what I mean? And, and especially when it's winning, and then you see, or which appears to be a win, depending on how you interpret certain things, because I'm also tired of people thinking that just because motherfuckers are billionaire and shit like that, like that somehow they're winning like that, that this is the biggest win that money is the win. Like I heard somebody say, Oh, you know, if we keep doing this, we ain't going to have no leaders. Listen, I don't want no fucking foul leaders. Like just cause a motherfucker got money. First of all, don't make them a leader. Number two, who the hell wants to have foul leaders? Who wants to have leaders that are sex trafficking and fucking trying to fucking have sex with dudes and all kind of crap? Who the hell want to have a leader like that? Oh, we, we always pulling our own down. Nah, these motherfuckers is pulling their own selves down. What the fuck you talking about? They're pulling their own fucking selves down with their motherfucking behavior. your fucking mind nobody pulling them down yes i'm happy if a motherfucker that's foul fucking you know what i mean if his foul shit look like it's coming to an end i'm fucking clapping that shit up man clap it up i'm laughing all of that shit the memes is funny as fuck right now are you kidding me <laughs> you saw the one that said <laughs> yo they said I seen the meme they said yo the only way you could kill fucking Diddy is if you stab him through the heart with a dildo like a vampire <laughs> oh shit like do you understand where you where you are psychologically in the minds of the people when when memes and shit like that is coming out and niggas is making full on skits and you know what i mean trust me and it could be it could it could happen to anybody like and some people say oh yeah this should be a lesson for um one minute people can love you and, you know, the next minute they could be, you know, not give a fuck about you. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're right. Because it's what have you, whatever you've done most recent is what people's going to remember. You can have a whole bunch of good shit in your past. But if you fucking just yesterday, you know what I mean, committed a mass murder, well, guess what? They're going to remember the mass murder. And you can't be mad at that. That's what you, that's some fresh shit you just did. Yeah, you gave out turkeys and all this type of shit back in the days, but you just did a motherfucking mass murder, my nigga. <laughs> so we're going to have to focus on that. You see? Like, so as long as you keep doing positive shit, we now we know nobody's perfect. We're not asking people to be perfect, but we are asking you to not be perverted. Huh? We know you can't be perfect, but we're asking you to not be perverted in your imperfection. Hmm? Hmm? And that's where these motherfuckers come in. They come in with perverted imperfections. Where they got to do all kind of crazy shit. To feel powerful and, and, you know what I mean? Or to conduct their, you know, satanic business, whatever the fuck that is. That's right, Cars Knopflin. Tell them everybody hit the like button. Um, oh shit. 
Okay. Got like 800 people in here. Yeah. Everybody hit that like button right now. It don't cost you nothing. Damn it. We, this is how we fuck with the algorithms. You know what I mean? It's how we fuck with the algorithms. Hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell and uh, click all. So, um, oh, what's this? An R? This is a. This is an article I'm reading from. What ABC News? It looks like ABC News. Um, says the searches of two homes owned by hip hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs were meant to find evidence to corroborate accounts of his accusers. And a legal expert said the raids are a sign that federal prosecutors in New York who are leading the investigation are confident in the case they're building. It says the fact that they're taking this ag aggressive step tells me that they have cooperative victims and they're moving quickly to make a case, said Rebecca Danileski, a partner at law firm Cooley LLP, a former federal prosecutor who supervised the successful prosecution of Jess Free Epstein's uh, paramour, Jesslane Maxwell. Ooh! So they got a, the prosecutor that was on the... Jesseline Maxwell case? Nah, B, hold up. They not fucking around, yo. Prosecutors have interviewed a number of Combs accusers, including those who filed civil lawsuits. Law enforcement sources familiar with the matter have told ABC News the next step is trying to corroborate what those accusers said. Any innocuous detail that you can corroborate, that's what you're trying to do, Denileski said. Perpetrators keep mementos. They keep photos, videos, things like that. Meantime, one of Combs' employees named in one of the lawsuits, 25-year-old Brendan Paul, was arrested on drug charges Monday. The civil lawsuit claims Paul carried drugs and guns for Combs. He since posted bail. Federal agents with Homeland Security investigation seized computers and other electronic devices at Combs' homes in the Holmby Hills neighborhood of Los Angeles and Miami. The sources have said as investigators search for photos, videos, or other evidence that accusers might have spoken of during interviews. Oh, shit. So let's just say you let me man, little Rod really blew. I mean, I mean, I guess it all starts with Cassie, right? But you man, little Rod really fucking put his little Rod, no diddy, um, all all up in the motherfucking uh all up in the investigation like like his little rod really is fucking this guy no diddy no diddy i'm just saying like uh you're really getting fucked by this diddy no diddy anyway um a search especially one that is this high profile signals that they have confidence that they have strong evidence and that the speed with which they have moved tells me the evidence is compelling Danileski said sources have described the investigation as focused on possible sex trafficking offenses or violations of the travel act, which prohibit interstate or foreign travel for the purposes of a sex act. On Tuesday, Aaron Dyer, an attorney for Combs, said the mogul was cooperative and spoke to authorities. The lawyer said Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Dyer alleged authorities used an excessive show of force and hostility during the searches. I mean, they did have a motherfucking, would look like a little tank or some shit going up his motherfucking driveway. Like, eh. <laughs> I mean, you know, who knows? Maybe he was going to barricade himself in there with all them, you know, they say he got a lot of firearms and shit. I don't know. Uh, they say, where is Diddy? Meanwhile, Combs' whereabouts remained unknown to the public on Wednesday. 
Dyer noted that the authorities have not imposed travel restrictions on Combs and his children, adding that if he has flown somewhere outside the U.S., he has the right to do so. Mm. Wink, wink. So they're giving him a little out like, you know, if you flew anywhere outside the U.S., you are you got the right to do so. You know that, right? Um, so if you just happen to end up in, um, let's say somewhere like Bali, let's say, uh, mm -hmm, with another mogul, music mogul, hip hop music mogul, uh, where they have no extradition, I'm just saying, wink, wink. A hip hop producer turned business mogul. Combs is among the most influential hip hop producers and executives of the past three decades. Formerly known as Puff Daddy, he built one of hip hop's biggest empires, blazing a trail with several entities attached to his famous name. He is the founder of Bad Boy Records and a three time Grammy winner who has worked with a slew of top tier artists, including Notorious B.I.G., Mary J. Blige, Usher, Little Kim. Faith Evans and 112. Combs' network of non music business ventures, including lucrative private label spirits, sportswear fashion, and a TV network, has been falling apart since the abuse lawsuits began surfacing. His vodka and tequila deal with Diego, a major producer of distilled spirits, formally disintegrated in January when the two parties settled mutual lawsuits leaving the brands in Diego's hands. His fashion line, Sean John, has disappeared from Macy's, one of the line's primary partners. Sean John items remain for sale at Walmart's online store. Although many items are heavily marketed or available only in off sizes. And last November, Combs resigned as chairman of Revolt TV, which focuses on music and social justice issues for African Americans. What y'all think about the diddler? Did did he do it? Did he does it? Did he do it? But diddly 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 dee. We got our own thing. But diddly 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 dee. Diddly diddly. Yep, social media dragon, Diddy. Yep, he's scum. Hey, I didn't make up no Diddy. There's actually a dude that's trying to um get a I forget some some dude. He's trying to get a, a trademark for no Diddy. I don't know if he made it up or he's just trying to move fast and be smart, but. Yo, they trying to trademark no Diddy. Ooh. Got a lot of bell after that. Um, so if if all of this is true. Fuck out of here. If 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 somehow none of this is true, and we all just had fucking P. Diddy, if we if we just pegged them wrong, if all of this shit we've been hearing all these years was actually some bullshit, man, I apologize. I'd have to I'd be I'd be like, yo, it's fucked up, man. Everybody owes uh, P. Diddy brother love. Everybody owes brother love. An apology. Um, but I'm gonna tell you now. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you now.
I believe a lot of this shit. I'm just saying, I'm just, that's just me. That's just me. Y'all don't have to agree. We can agree to disagree. That's what, that's what, you know, family members do. But where there's smoke, there's fire. See, just know that when you get in this game, at some at some point, I don't know if I told y'all this before, if I've told you. At some point, they're gonna invite you to the bathhouse. Don't go to the bathhouse. Shout out to you niggas that went to the bathhouse. <laughs> um, you know who you are. You know you niggas went to the bathhouse. And um, I feel like this is why motherfuckers be having mental problems. You know, niggas become alcoholics. Niggas have weight problems. Niggas, all kind of shit. Like, because your self-accusing spirit, you did some shit. You did something strange for a little piece of change. You did something strange for a piece of change. And your self-accusing spirit won't allow you to live with it. Yeah. Yeah. It's too bad. Now, we're not going to go far and say that uh, what is this? Teacher Maria said 758 watching. Now it's 888. Ooh, that's a good number. 888, but only 229 likes. Y'all better get these likes up. Y'all better get these goddamn likes up. That's right, Teacher Maria. She was trying to go to bed, but y'all got her disturbed now. She got to stay up now. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Get Teacher Maria pissed. Terrell McMiller, salute my brother. He said, much respect, LJ. In the words of R.I.P. Granddaddy I.U. Salute. Um, Switching like a bitch wearing panties and bras. Now you know it ain't no joke behind bars. It's the remix. <laughs> Thank you, Terrell. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, man. Oh, if Puff had to go to jail, if Puff had to go to jail. And he's the guy that people are saying no Diddy right now. He would have to live in some sort of protection. He'd have to live in some protection or he's going to have to pay some niggas. Like, I, 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 Cause I could see, I could see niggas violating, violating. Well, who knows? Maybe that's right where he want to be. No, he don't want to be locked up. But does he want to be around the menses? Does he want to get put in the, the, the trans unit? 
Cars Knopfler said, Black Rob, I'm going to visit him in the cell. Y'all think he's going to get locked up over there? First of all, they said his plane went to Antigua or some shit like that. I mean, they couldn't confirm if he was there or not. But his plane was in Antigua in the Caribbean. That nigga said, next stop, Bali. <laughs> All aboard. He just tried to traffic some shit real quick from Antigua, though. Let me see if I can get a few, if I can get a few bitches on the motherfucking, uh, in the man. If I can get a little few bitches on the plane before I go to Bali, because you know. And then he want to get some uh, BBCs on that motherfucker, too. Peace, June Buckner. Lived it. He is a perverted monster. Oh, you lived it with 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 Puffy. Like you seen it firsthand. Do tell. Do tell June Buckner. Do tell. Now, what I would like to address is, because like I said earlier, yeah. You know, we focus on our own because that's our own. That's why we would, you know what I mean? Focus on that. Um, hold up. Aaron McCullough, thank you for the super sticker. June Buckner, thank you for your donation. She said, thank you for all you do and your bravery. Why, thank you, June Buckner. I don't consider myself being brave. I just consider myself telling the damn truth. Huh? And being wrapped up and protected by it at all times. That's all. But thank you. Um. But yes. Dudes like Puffy and Bill Cosby and all that, they, they learned this from their white counterparts. Or, okay, maybe maybe somebody like Puffy learned it from Andre Harrell. And listen, he's he passed away, but it is what it is. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, you talking about a dead man? Fuck that. Yes. When he was alive, he was doing some foul shit. Um... But I feel like maybe an Andre Harrell might have learned a lot of the moves from the white executive because he definitely was, you know what I mean? Moving in those circles. A nigga like Cosby and all of that, like, learned how to flip a Mickey and all, you know what I mean? From the Weinsteins and all of this of the world. Like, we're not excusing them. And we should definitely put a light on them too. What I say, my man's name was um, the Nickelodeon nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Put a light on him. Shit, Jimmy Iovine has been accused of some shit. You know what I mean? Fucking Interscope, the head of Interscope. Put a fucking light on that nigga. You know what I mean? But at the same time, when we do that, our heart's not in it the same. Our heart's not in it the same. Because we don't really care. Uh, you know? Whether we like these people or not, sometimes when it's our people, we feel like, damn, that's a part of us in a way. You know what I mean? So that's why it hit different. But yes, we should definitely uh, point out all these fucking white executives. If they're under investigation and all that, bring it up. You know what I mean? Let it be known. We're not here to beat up on our own people per se but at the same time who's gonna clean we gotta clean our own fucking house we gotta clean house y'all just want to sweep shit under the rug nah nah I'm pulling the rug up getting that dirt out the fucking house 
Okay? Fuck all this under the rug shit, because if you keep doing that, you're going to have a mound of dirt. You're going to have a mound of dirt under the fucking rug. And it's still going to be an eyesore. And when you get rid of that mound of dirt under the rug, that eyesore, what you going to do? You're going to celebrate. You're going to be like, damn, it looks much better in here. I like, you know what I mean? You feel good when it's clean. Fuck that dirt. Get that dirt out of here. It's the same shit when we start cleaning. You know what I mean? When we start cleaning house in our community. Don't be out here fucking doing foul shit. Don't be out here sex trafficking. You know what I mean? Your brothers and sisters. Don't be out here. You know what I mean? Fucking trying to get heterosexual men to be homosexuals and all this other shit. Or, or heterosexual women to be, you know, homos- none of that shit. We doing none of that shit. Oh, and I see y'all, everybody's, everybody feel like Jay-Z's next. Because first of all, did y'all see the, 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 the psychic lady <laughs> who literally predicted that some shit was going to happen in uh, in, 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 in March with P. Diddy? Yeah, crazy. Well, we're going to see how this unfolds. Um, I want to talk about this bridge shit real quick. Um, the Francis Scott Key Bridge. What do we know about this? A cargo ship um, rammed into the Baltimore Francis Scott Key Bridge early Tuesday, causing a span to collapse and the presumed deaths of six people. On Wednesday, officials with the National Transportation Safety Board boarded the ship and planned to recover information from its electronics and paperwork while divers continued to search for those missing. Um, here's what happened, and this is from the Associated Press. Um, the operators of the Dali cargo ship issued a May Day call that the vessel had lost power moments before the crash, but the ship still headed towards the span at a very, very rapid speed, Maryland uh, Governor Wes Moore said. The 980-foot-long, 300-meter-long vessel struck one of the 1.6-mile, 2.6-kilometer bridge supports causing the span to break and fall into the water within seconds. Six construction workers who are filling potholes on the bridge are presumed dead. Jeffrey Pritzker, executive vice president of Bronner Builders, said they were working in the middle of the span when it came apart. An inspection of the Dali last June at Port in Chile identified a problem with the ship's propulsion and auxiliary machinery, according to Equis. Equisis a shipping information system. The deficiency involved gauges and thermometers, but the website's online records didn't elaborate. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, listen. Y'all seen the video. I watched the video. Did y'all see what I saw? Because unless this is some doctored video, that motherfucking bridge blew up. Okay, had explosion points on the mother. That was a fucking uh, demolition. That looked like the 9-11 of a fucking bridge to me. Um, with the excuse that a goddamn ship hit the thing. Now, ask yourself, When's the last time you've seen a, a, a boat hit a bridge and the whole bridge come down? Because I've seen videos of bridge of boats hitting bridges and the and the boat is the thing that breaks. Like I remember seeing a video and the, the thing is coming down, the drawbridge is coming down and here comes the boat. And as the boat hits the bridge, the fucking shit rips off. 
Now, I understand it hit one of the pillars. You're going to say, blah, 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 blah. First of all, it looks like it steered right into that pillar. Um, but also, how many of y'all saw the fucking explosions that were going off at certain points when that fucking thing hit? Now, Am I bugging or did we see, see the internet is just too good these days. You know what I mean? They're not letting a lot of shit get past you. So now some people would say, well, why would they do that? I don't know. I don't know what the purpose is. Is it symbolic? It's the Francis Scott key bridge. That's the dude that wrote the uh, star spangled banner and all of that. Like, is this some sort of symbolism? These people work in symbolism. So I don't know. I can't tell you why they would do it. But all I know is in the videos I saw. Virtuous women, what the fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up. You get out of fuck. Yo. Do I support Bambada raping kids? Of course not. What the fuck are you talking? What question are you even talking about? Get the fuck out of here. Put your ass on timeout. Your dumb ass. Asking stupid ass questions. What the fuck? Of course I don't support no shit like that. Ben came, came out and stood on that a long time ago. What the fuck are you even talking about? What are you even here with that for? Anyway, um, yeah, that should look mad suspect. I encourage y'all to watch the videos. I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna play this shit because you know what I mean. I don't want any problems with motherfuckers talking copyrights or no stupid shit like that. But I'm telling you, this video out there <clears throat> and that video, from what I see, shows explosions that shouldn't be exploding at key points on that fucking bridge. That makes the whole shit collapse. Now I ain't lose my train of thought. I I I I I'm back. Just saying, I just I just happen to see that out of nowhere. Like, you know what I mean? And yeah, people come in here, they try to fucking distract you with the bullshit. Fuck them. Um so yeah, look into that shit. I don't know why they would want to do that is this some well i'll tell you one thing terrorism right is to plant fear now in your mind then now the next time you go over a bridge at the very least this is going to be in your mind whether it's you thinking about somebody blowing up the bridge or you think about a motherfucking boat running into the shit. And that's that's how terrorism kind of works. Like, you know what I mean? Because something as mundane as a bridge now, you got to worry about. You know what I mean? Before, you know, just like airplane travel, like they, you know, they already had you worry about crashing, but then it's like, oh, in the 70s, they had you worrying about hijackings and shit like that then you know now they want you to worry if somebody's gonna fly it into a building and all this crazy shit like you know what i mean um oh, y'all think it's a freak accident man lost power of the ship and just happened to drive right into the main pillar of the of the fucking thing okay yeah. 
Gotcha. Why y'all say the captain was Ukrainian? Was he? Does that have any bearing on the story? Well, listen, I got a um. I have to get out of here soon. Actually, I got something to do at seven thirty. Um. What do y'all think about this whole shit that's going on right now with the big three? Um, Kendrick, Drake, J. Cole. Apparently, um, Kendrick hops on a future song, a new future song. Wasn't credited to be on the song or nothing. Was just hops on a song. Now, future was done albums with Drake. But apparently in this verse, Kendrick is taking shots at motherfucking, um, you know, Drake and J. Cole and all of this and shit. Talking about fuck the big three and all this crazy shit. And I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it yet. Um, but what I did hear was a fucking response, a leak response from Drake. Um I ain't gonna lie, that shit was kind of crazy. Um, yeah, Drake do paint his nails and all of that type of shit. Um, but this little response that I heard was kind of hard. I gotta, I gotta listen to the to the um Kendrick shit and all of that. And now I wonder if J Cole, because he's out of all three of them, J Cole is the one that I really fuck with the most. Like, you know what I mean? Like. Oh yeah, I really like J. Cole. Um, so I would wonder if he has any, if he's gonna throw anything into the pot. Um, but it's funny because they call them the big three. Like those are the main ones that people talk about, like the top three rappers, like you know what I mean? And when you talk about when people talk about conscious rappers these days, like fucking Kendrick and J. Cole are the two that they talk about. You know what I mean? So um, the fact that they'd even almost be at odds right now, <clears throat> I don't know. Um, maybe it's just all publicity. Because didn't they do a song together? Like, yeah, what's going on? What's going on here? Somebody said Drake is a fake Fonte. Do your homework. Okay, uh, he might be a fake Fonte, but, you know, people like fake shit, I guess, these days, and <laughs> he's winning with that shit, so I don't know what to tell you. Um, But, yeah, I ain't going to lie that, you know, it was just a little leak that I heard of the shit, but the shit was, the shit was hard. Shit was hard. Um, yeah. So again, I I can't play it and all of this type of shit. I can't play these songs on here. YouTube bullshit. But I encourage you to go check these songs out. Um. Oh, finally, before I leave, right because I got some shit, some work to do as well. Um, For all my producers out there, for all my NPC heads out there, yesterday was the day that we all were waiting for. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. NPC stems was released. Oh, yeah. MPC stems. Now, sampling and just the art of production is going to take a whole new level of... It's just a whole new world is getting ready to open up when people are going to be able to just take the vocals off of something but still have the beat there with no remnants of the vocals and all this type of shit and just oh 
man, and just being able to separate the bass line out of a track or separate the drums, isolate different parts of the track. Game changer, game changer, game changer, game changer. Part of me, this is the day we've been waiting for, and it's finally here. Um, listen, go nuts. You know what I mean? I got a couple of joints I got in mind that, you know what I mean? I always felt like, damn, I wish I could just take the fucking words off of that part right there. Bomba cleat. But if you go fool on them. Yeah. So uh, if you didn't know, yeah, I know Serato had the stems for a while, but that, you know, it's too many like, I don't like going to an outside fucking uh, program. And I, I like that this is inside. I had another program that did the stem shit or whatever. Um, yeah, I had another joint that did the stems, but this is inside now the software for the NPC. So, oh, definitely shout out King Los. He's a flat panther as well. But yeah, yeah, Serato stems for a DJ. That's cool, but but for for sampling, this is a whole new level. Peace, A one Drizzy. Do other planets have moons too? Like the flat, like the, like the Earth, flat power. Uh, I would say now, Cipher. You know, we can't imagine. What they're calling planets are wandering stars, okay? Nothing is like the Earth. There's no other solid bodies that would have a sun and the moon. There may be extra land that we don't know about, and maybe these wandering stars could be the sun and moon of those outer rings and all of that, but there are no solid planets in outer space. Like, you know what I mean? This is it. This is it. You know what I mean? So... But yeah, I got to get ready to make a move, y'all. Um, I just want to hop on, touch these uh, topics real quick. Uh, shout out my man Five Mics. Just went national with the Louis Louis single. Shout out to the whole crew at AEMG. Um, that Louis Louis joint fire. If y'all ain't hear it, go check it out. It's on all streaming platforms. Video coming soon. You'll see the guard up in there. Um, and yeah, I got to get ready to make moves. I love y'all, though. I appreciate y'all for coming through. Um, and uh, we're going to keep getting on them. No diddy. <laughs> Once again. Oh, and shout out to my man Godfrey. Was on Club Shay Shay, making us so proud. He will be back, and we will talk about his experience on Club Shay Shay. Uh, shout out to Digger. She will be back as well. Have no fear. The God and the Earths is here. Hey, man, I love y'all. Have a blessed, safe week. Um, Weekend into next week peace and love y'all I see some of your comment you're not gonna pull me in fuck you